Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Wizards Outlook. You know, if you see us, that means that the Wizards did in fact play. Joined as always by Cardell Dudley. Then we got Raymond Lyons on Wilson Tarpe Jr. And again, this is Wizards Outlook. The Washington Wizards tonight, they have done something they haven't done in their previous 155 games. They just win three games in a row. But again, I'm not being petty. I'm just sharing this information because the graphic was on the screen before the broadcast, before I left the broadcast. So again, these are three wins. It was over the Celtics. Uh, who's the middle team? It was the Celtics, the Rockets, oh, and no. the Nuggets. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's too much information for me all at one time. But again, Washington, um, you know, they got they got smacked in the first quarter. Things looked really, really bad. In the second quarter, the bench went nuts. Their bench had 71 points tonight. Huge reason for them not only getting back in this game, staying in this game at times, and then late. You know, things just kind of worked out in their fashion. But, Cardell, I'm going to let you address what happened late because, you know, social media is oh so much fun. And um, I know you hopped into the post game presser for just a few seconds. So uh, the floor is yours. What the heck happened late, you know, in the late, late in the game? Well, I know a lot of these, uh, you know, great DMV coaches, you know, really don't like <laughs> Scott Brooks, man. You know, they're going to the Hall of Fame or whatnot. But, you know, a few guys hit me up saying, why didn't Brooks foul like he's on the floor? Why didn't he foul Jamal Murray um, before Jamal Murray hit that big three to tie the game late in the, late in the game? And so I hopped on the post game. I want to hear if, if nobody else, Fred Cass got to it before I did, because I definitely was going to ask uh, what was that all about, especially after Rush just fouled Jokic, you know, not too long before that. So Scott Brooks just came and got it brutally honest. He came brutally honest. He said, uh, he would have preferred to foul, but um, in practices recently and in games recently, which we've seen, uh, guys have messed up when he asked them to foul certain players late in the game. They messed up on executing that, and it turned out bad for the Wizards, as we know. Uh, so he's not confident that guys would have made the right reads and made the play to foul someone like a Jamal Murray. So his thing was force him out as far as possible and contest. They forced him out pretty far, but they missed the second part. They didn't, really didn't contest. He didn't contest the shot was in the air. And what do you mean by contest? When you close out, don't have your hands down, have your hand already up. So the shooter's aware where it's at. You're already up there. So you can you can contest better. But Rui had his hands down. Obviously, Jamal Murray got a good look, and he knocked it down. Uh, Rui was kind of iffy about, well, he was that far out. I didn't realize you wanted me to contest as soon as I closed out. Scott Brooks said, uh, yeah, dudes in the league are shooting from the logo. They're practicing that shot. It's a lot of dudes with that range. Jamal Murray's run on. You got to know your personnel. You got to get out there and contest. So that's what happened on that play. And as you can see, that's why Brooks is kind of – reluctant to take that chance because who knows it could have been a four-point play knowing the wizards luck see what i'm saying so it is what it is man you know he he's doing the best he can with what he has man he knows his team better than anybody he sees him every day he understands what he's dealing with especially defensively we talked about it non-stop on this broadcast so for all the genius coaches who like to just look at brooks because they would love that position one day really no other reason Chill out. The man got this team on a three-game winning streak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, they beat two playoff teams in the process. They only three games out of eighth. They got some momentum. Chill. Because I'm pretty sure y'all have told players for y'all various levels, AAU, high school, college, I'm pretty sure y'all have told players to do something, and they get in the game, do the complete opposite. That's just a part of basketball. So it is what it is. Back to you, Wilson. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ray. Your initial thoughts on this? Um, yeah, I man, I was about to turn it off in the first quarter because <laughs> uh, it it was it was looking bleak. But um, yeah, that bench mob they got it done, man. Uh, we give them a lot of grief on the show, but we gotta give them props tonight. Uh, Davis Bertans, I don't know what he ate today or what his routine was, but he need to do that every single game day. Cause he man, he he just went for it. Uh, now for eleven from three, he had thirty five points, easily his best game of the season. Um, 
you know, I don't I don't know if it's him starting to get his legs back because, you know, he has been gradually improving over the last few games, but it hasn't been, you know, to the level that, you know, we've expected or that his contract warrants, to be perfectly honest. But um, but yeah, man, he was in the perfect rhythm tonight. Wasn't no hesitation, wasn't no thinking about it. He was just getting the ball and letting it go. Um, you know, we like Cardell said, we talk about defense every time we're on here. Sands the f- the first quarter was this play pretty good defense. Um, you know, they were challenging people at the rim, active hands, getting deflections, creating turnovers. Uh, this this is honestly the most I've seen him box out the entire season. Like there were times where all five of them are in the paint boxing out for for um, defensive rebounds. And, you know, it's refreshing to see and it allowed him to get the ball, push it out on the break, get some easy baskets, you know, just get some momentum and flow to the game, get their, get their juices going. So, um, I mean, it's a good win, man. Uh, Denver's not a they're, – they're not a slouch team. I mean, they're struggling right now on this road trip um, trying to figure things out, but they they still the Nuggets. Uh, Jokic got off early, but, you know, after they, – they figured him out after a while and made it tough for him. Um I don't know what it is where no starting center for the Wizards wants to play well for two games in a row, but, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, kudos to Brooks for recognizing it and getting the right person in there. Uh, Alex Lynn was great tonight. Um, he, he did what he does. He, he was being seven feet, you know, being aggressive and finishing strong at the rim and, you know, being bothersome at the rim on defense. So, um, you know, man, good, good showing from them. Uh, you know, a couple of head scratches down the stretch, um, decision making wise. But um, but hey man, they got the win and it's really not too much to complain about. You know, they uh it, it just kind of shows they're you know trending in a positive direction. Typically they they fall down like that, uh big like that early. And they they will have a run as they've shown, but they haven't shown the capability to kind of close uh complete the mission and close those games out what they did tonight you know again against a fairly good team so um so kudos to them good win and uh, man let's just see if they can keep it going cardo you got anything you wanted to add about tonight's game before just taking a quick look um you know they yeah. get a couple of days off then they headed out west for a road trip that could put push them closer to 500 things go right or you know there's two ways this thing could go going out west um but go ahead cardo yeah, I feel like um, I mean, good one, but you know, I'm not gonna let them off the hook that easy. It was still a lot of the same old stuff we've been seeing throughout the season. It's just that they ran into a team that's dealing with similar stuff defensively. Um, mm-hmm. that team don't really have a lot of their key players. Some some guys came back like Barton didn't come back. Um, Mill Sap is out, you know, so um, they dealing with their own issues defensively. And one thing I noticed with the Nuggets, man, uh, you can get in the paint and score easily. Uh, it's not like we, we know Joker's is not a shot block or whatnot, but, you know, if you attack, you could be successful, man. So, you know, kudos to them. But um, with the Wizards, uh, they were more physical. Um, they fought harder this game. Yes, they're getting they, – like Raymond said, they're trending in the right direction, but it was still too inconsistent right now where if they were to play – another team for most teams in the league right now, they would have lost this game because most teams aren't strong defensively like the Nuggets are. Um, the Nuggets have a lot of things to fix. I mean, I don't know if people saw it, but even at halftime um, when Russell Westbrook found Len for the easy basket, man, I mean, Malone didn't wait to the halftime buzzer. He just walked off the floor. Like, that's how disgusted he is, you know what I'm saying? I've been following him uh, for the last few games, and it's, it's ugly. You know, they, they, you know, they're going through it right now, so – it's just that the nut, you know, the Wizards survive in a sense, and I think being at home, the home cooking, helped a lot of guys find their rhythm. Definitely Bertans or whatnot, uh, with his shooting and stuff. You can see it coming. He's been building up, building up, building up to this game. Uh, the main thing is, can they do it on the road? Because now they won a few games. Teams gonna take them serious now. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna play around with them and stuff like that. Um, you know, they still, I mean, they did a good job, kind of. You know, after Jokic went off on the first half, you know, keeping Jokic pedestrian by his standards, <laughs> not by most of the standards, but keeping the pedestrian enough where they can come back in the game. Um, you know, Jamal Murray exploded late, 
You know what I'm saying? But they re- they kept him reasonably in check in the first half when I was just in the full court. He just got on one. You know, which he's capable of. That's why you have to defend him for full 48 minutes. You can't lose sight of him. Uh, I like what Falco brought to the game, his energy in the first half mm-hmm. on both ends. But the Wizards, in a sense, uh, against a wounded team, a team that's not playing well, I feel like in this particular game, they should have beat the hell out of them. If they would have really been on point, like how most people may say they are, they should have. Um, you know, like – I don't, Russell Westbrook, we know he turns the ball over, but eight turnovers, that's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, at times, like I said, it looked like he he looks like he's a double agent sometimes. I mean, I don't know what he's looking at. Um, he got to slow down. You know what I mean? And the, and the shots, the, the shot taking at the wrong time. You got Bill trying to close the game. We know what he is. He's a better shooter, better scorer. He's the league's leading scorer. Why would you take that quick shot? You know what I'm saying? It's just it defeats. See that that goes against what they're trying to accomplish and wins. It's little things like that, and it don't take much to kill momentum. You lose the game. Now the Wizards back on like a five game went losing streak. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we know this. It, their psyche is fragile. It's you know what I'm saying. We know what it is. So I just don't understand that, especially being a veteran point guard. But that's the, those are the that's the criticism of Russell throughout his career. You know what I mean? So. I guess that's just something on. Um, it is what it is. You you gotta you gotta deal with. It. But on the bright side, with those guys, Bertans. I mean, I mean, he shot lights out. You know what I'm saying? If he shoots like this, and yeah, Wiz gonna get back in that playoff mix real quick. Um, I'm, I mean, not maybe not nine for eleven, but if he shoot what he should, you know, low mid forties from three. I mean, it's on because you know you got somebody you can rely on, you can count on that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we've been waiting on. Thirty five points off the bench is insane. And that tells you about the struggles of the Nuggets, because no other most teams in the league is not gonna allow him to get 35 points. I don't care what it is, they're just not gonna leave him once he got going. Um, Brad Bill also woke up in that second quarter, got going, which was good. Uh I gotta give Garrison Matthews some love, man. You know, the defense he does, the hustle, man. He, mm-hmm. he's he, the energy he's bringing to the team is just contagious. And I don't care about the box score. If he scored, that's a bonus. You know what I'm saying? But this dude. It's literally like guarding a whole damn team by himself at times. He's he's giving everything he got to win. And I love – I like – it's funny how people criticize the Brooks, but they don't see that. They don't see he just scrapped the original plan to kind of cater the guys' contracts or their, their veteran experience or whatever. He's putting the best players on the floor that's going to help him win, and he don't care. Just because you start, you may not even play the rest of the game if you if you get off to a slow start in the first half, in the first quarter or whatnot, if you slack on defense – like he said in a um, post game, he said Jokic was beating Mo Wagner up and down the floor. That's inexcusable. He's not Jokic is not shouldn't win any foot race against any center in the league. And Mo Wagner is an energy big, so that's his hustle thing. So how's he beating you up and down the floor? Okay, see now we gotta sit you down. That's why he only played three minutes tonight. It's as simple as that. And Brooks not playing. You feel what I'm saying? So I love that aspect about it because how many coaches would have the guts to do that? You know what I'm saying? Like they would, they, they would have just went along with the flow. See, I, I like how he's holding everybody accountable because your spot is not secure unless you're Brad Bill. You know what I'm saying? Even Russell Westbrook, we seen him play bad and he benched them. As a matter of fact, he benched Bill early in the season. Like when they came out slug, put the bench in. You chill for a little bit. You see what I'm saying? So I can't give the Wizards too much credit. Yes, they did what they had to do down the stretch to win. But against the way the Nuggets are playing, you, look, they're 15 to 13. They're basically a 500 team. It was a right now. We we can't go off last year. Things change. Right now, mm-hmm. they're a 500 team. So at this point in time, at home, you struggle to put, even though you're struggling, you struggle to put away a 500 team without key players that are struggling just as bad, if not more, on defense than you are. You know, they have an MVP candidate, but the Wizards have an MVP candidate in Brad Bill. So it cancels out. But the advantage is you're at home. So they have a lot to clean up. Um, I think they played the Trail Blazers. Where they, played the, they got a few days off, then they played the Blazers on Saturday. Then they got the Lakers, Clippers. They got the Nuggets again. They're going to be pissed. So they got some heavyweights coming up. And uh, we're going to see if they can continue. Some real heavyweights. Right, did you want you had anything you wanted to add to that? Nah, but like um just how like they'll close it out. If they not careful, that could turn into 0 and 4 real quick. So um yeah, they just need to go back to the drawing board and make sure they're on point. Yeah, um all I really got to say about the like 
They had 71 points off the bench. That is not something you expect each and every night. Despite that, look at how that game ended. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You were – if you say there was enough time for Denver to have – say there was a second left on the clock for Denver and they had another possession, you know what I'm saying? Or they don't call that foul. <laughs> you know and what I mean? they call that foul. My man went up. <laughs> we keep it in the box. Like, he went up. He's, what else can he do? It's, yeah. He's uh, being honest. Like, if, in Denver, do you get that call? I'm probably going to lean towards hell no. Um, but again, just being honest, you're about to go on a road. You're not getting calls in the MLA games. Being perfectly honest. Yeah, cancel Christmas you, on it. Like, you're not getting calls there. You might get a couple calls in Portland, depending on who you foul. You better not touch Dame because they're going to see those. Um, you're not at home. Look, I'm not trying to be mean, just being completely honest, all right? Like, oh, and all the little hitting that you got away with Jokic and Murray tonight, next time it's in Denver. Bigs, stay down on all 37 fakes. Like, this is my, like, but for all the stuff that went right tonight, 71 freaking points off your bench. He barely won. And and you had a double-digit lead with, like, two minutes left. Jamal Murray goes full full NBA bubble. That one three he hit, man, that's a ball or something. That John, he had, yeah. he had uh, Porter on the wing. I think he about to lob it. He dribble out. No, nah, I got to, I'm like, boy, that's a balls, boy. I'm like, you missed that boy. Like, <laughs> hey, that's a balls. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, man. I gotta give it to like. <laughs> but that tells you the Wizards not playing well because he made a decision. I'm about to just go at Sean Neck to win mm-hmm. this game. And he did. Now I understand great players can do that and stuff like that, but they're not doing that against the better defensive team. He's not. It's the reason why the Nuggets have been struggling. And he hasn't been playing well. Mm-hmm. He just woke up against y'all, though. So now they got y'all next Thursday. Well, yeah, in a week. They got y'all in a week at home. Oh, they're going to be on get back. Believe me, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be healthy. So, look, they did what they had to do. They pulled it out. But, now nah, we ain't, we not about to put out this fantasy like they hoping. Like, yeah, nah. and, and the biggest thing to me is the turn. some of the turnovers are so bad in the times that they happen. And, you know, I've been screaming empty possessions. I know y'all tired of seeing me tweet it every game. I've been tweeting and screaming empty possession since preseason, and it keeps happening late in games. And and that's what we're saying. It's not like there's a large window for error, and you're about to go on the road. <laughs> it's ADC no more. It's different out there. You know, there's levels of getting calls on the road. Hope You know, just be prepared for that. That's, that's all. Everybody don't get the same. There's like five dudes in the league that got, a, that got the same whistle wherever they go. They good anywhere. Whistle don't change. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You think you getting calls in LA? You think you getting calls in LA? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. All that attacking the basket and not finishing strong. I'm interested to see how it goes. Again, it was a good win tonight. Just again, this this is this is our job just to keep things in perspective. It was a good win, but 71 points from your bench is not sustainable. That is not a normal thing, even by teams that have great benches. So that said, the little things defensively, just letting people – the run Jamal Murray went on was just ridiculous because we know there's two people getting the ball. It's two people. They don't even – like when stuff gets tough with Denver, they don't even look at the others. It's, it's two people. You, like you got to stop them too, and then maybe it gets swung to the others. Mm-hmm. Like they just – he gonna just keep resetting screens until they get what they want. Yep. <laughs> That's what we saw for the last minute, thirty seconds. Screen, nah, nah, nah. Rescreen, nah, nah, nah. Cool, but in turnovers, like you was up ten, and this is the thing: you go up ten against the Lakers and turn the ball over five, six times, man. That's a that's a good defensive team. That's 15, 20 point run the other way. And Lord knows you. <laughs> hey, look, it's a it's a good win. Three games in a row. Take a couple of days, get yourself together, going to Denver, uh, not Denver, going to Portland, have your stuff together. You cannot turn the ball over. Um, you already know what that you've already felt the effects of Dane time. Several teams have this year. It is a real thing. Um, don't end up in a situation where he can hit that button. Take care of your business early. Um, one of the things you need to continue from the night, rebound. Did a great job on the boards tonight. Continue to do that. 
You have to do that the whole trip. Like all every night until you get back to DC. Keep having, you know, uh, bodies on bodies. Like, like it's simple. Hat on a hat, find someone, box out. It's, it's the simple, boring stuff. But this is what needs to happen to get back to 500. Well, they um, need to do that for the rest of the season. I, mean, I, know, I was trying to say, I was, I was trying to give them like a small little, like a small little, like incremental goal. Baby steps, man. <laughs> man I'm kind of sure. Right. What you said for the post game, Drake. When, when, when folks can't trust you to foul, game, game by game basis. But thank y'all for hanging with us tonight. We'll be back on it just a little bit. Uh, you know, Wednesdays and Fridays, G League rundown. Uh, so we will. We got G League Rundown tonight. We got G League Rundown on Friday night. Then Wizards Outlook again on Saturday night. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in a little bit.